Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I want to introduce you to a new sponsor of the YouTube channel. I'd like to do a little intro video to welcome our sponsors. And it's another coding bootcamp, which I appreciate because if you know me, you know that I'm a fan of coding bootcamps. And I will say this, I want to say two things before I introduce Coding Dojo uh, here, which is two things. And they impress me, but by the way, but it's, it's one thing. First of all, coding bootcamps are not going to dry up and, and go away. It'll probably have some consolidation in the market. I, I, I think I did a video talking about this, but I just want to like assuage your fears. Uh, everyone seems to be like saying, preaching all this gloom and doom about coding boot camps. They're still a really effective way to learn. So that's the first thing I want to say is that I, I firmly believe in them and not just because I'm being paid money. It's not, <laughs> it's not like it's a lot of money, uh, but you know, it, it is good to have a sponsor in order to uh, be able to do more videos and upgrade camera. I'm going to upgrade some camera equipment here soon, but, uh, but yeah, I, you, you know that you guys know that I speak my mind regardless of, of what, um, of, 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 of what a sponsor, you know, if a sponsor doesn't want to sponsor because they didn't like what I said, that's fine. I'm sorry. You know, uh, if you do want to sponsor, great. Awesome. So I just want to make sure that that's, that's pretty clear with anything that I advertise here on simple programmer, it goes right. You know, yes, someone is giving money uh, in order to uh, be advertised here. And I'll gladly do that if I think they have a good service and I agree with them or if I've used a service and, but it's not going to influence what I say because I'm just going to say whatever, and then whatever the consequences, fuck the consequences, it happens. So, uh, and, and we've lost sponsors because of that before, but that's fine. So, uh, second thing I'm going to say about this is that coding boot camps, again, a lot of people give me flack about my position on the coding boot camps. I don't really need these headphones because I don't need to hear anything. But I, I will say this, that in order to be successful, regardless of what any coding boot camp says, you have to you have to perform. You have to put your all into the coding bootcamp. Like I would want to be the top 10% of the class. I'd want to be the top one in the class, but if you're in the top 10%, right? And then I'll give you an example here because Coding Dojo here, uh, they have a 94% job placement rate. And it says, thanks to our dedicated uh, career advisors and in our industry tested curriculum, 94% of our students complete our career services uh, who complete our career services program find a job within 180 days of graduation. So that's their qualifications there, their, their prequal of that, uh, their caveat there. And I guarantee you that uh, the, the people, even if they say this high rate, which I, I'm sure that they do have a very high rate, I, I, I don't doubt this. But what I'm saying is that even if I go to a coding bootcamp and it says that they have a high placement rate, I am not, and I advise you, dear viewer, I, I advise you to not sign up for a coding bootcamp expecting that all you got to do is show up and get the and complete the program and bam, you're going to get uh, get a job 94% chance. What I would, because who knows, right? I mean, who knows, right? I, I would not want to take that risk. I would advise you to come in with the attitude that you are going to be in the top 10% of the class. This is not too high of a bar to set. Most people who sign up for shit, they don't do the work and they don't put in the effort in order to be in the top 10% of anything, right? I'd, I'd be aiming for number one, but come on, everyone that's listening to this, that's that if you're subscribed to my channel or you're listening to my, my YouTube videos, you're capable of being in the top 10%. The competition is usually not that difficult. So if you're not planning on doing that, my advice, just my personal advice is like I said, is don't sign up for coding bootcamp, but do, do sign up and do plan on being in the top 10%. Okay, so with that said, I want to show you Coding do Dojo. I was very impressed with their programs. There's a couple of reasons why I like them and why I was happy to do a sponsorship with them, uh, which is that they have a lot of different programs. So they have an on-site bootcamp, an online bootcamp, a dev accelerator. Uh, they have an even an Alexa skills workshop. That's pretty freaking cool. I wanted to create some Alexa skills stuff. Uh, they of course have you know scholarships and whatnot, which you can you can check out. But what's really cool here is that uh, that they have three full stacks and they have career service. Now, a lot of boot camps have career services, but, and they explain, you know, if you want to know where the full stack is, but here's the stacks. This is kind of cool. So iOS, Swift, Ruby on Rails, Python, Mean, C Sharp, .NET Core, and Java. And these are the things that make a lot of sense. They even put the companies here that you might, you know, get hired on with afterwards. Uh, and it makes, this, this makes a lot of sense to me. I, I haven't seen, coding bootcamps 
really laying this out uh, because I always tell software developers, I'm like, you got to pick, like, don't tell me you want to be a front end developer or don't tell me you want to be a back end developer or a web developer. You got to really be specific and say, what is the stack, right? Because when you apply for a job, you're not applying for a generic job. You're usually applying for a job with a specific technology or a specific stack. And if you want expertise and you want deep knowledge and you want to know what you should study, you got to you got to have uh, something to study. So I like that they've divided this up here. Of course, they've got uh, some testimonies for you know how many students have graduated and average starting salary, which this sounds good to me. And you know companies that have hired their alumni, you know there's there's a pretty decent number of, of good companies there. So uh, I, I I like them. I think that uh, it's a good program. I haven't taken the program myself, but I've definitely heard people talk about it. And and like I said, I I did a look a thorough look and, and checked them out. And uh, you know I, I'm I'm happy to have them as a sponsor. So welcome uh, Coding Dojo. Hopefully they'll they'll stick around and, and hopefully uh, you'll you'll check them out. So I encourage you to go over, check out their site, you know, see, watch their videos, ask questions, whatnot, and 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 see if it's a good fit for you. But it looks it looks like definitely a good boot camp to me. Again, you know, do your own investigation. You know, bet things out, ask questions, make sure before you you put down the money. And and like I said, number one most important thing that's going to determine your success. It's what you put into it. So plan on graduating at the top 10%, and then you know you're you're almost going to be guaranteed to get a job, right? If if something if they if a company has truly a 90 something percent placement rate, and you're in the top 10%, that that's you can be pretty secure in feeling that you're going to get a job in that way. Whereas if you're in the bottom 10%, I, I don't know, buddy. I don't know. I don't know about that. Like I, I wouldn't want to take that risk. I wouldn't want to waste that money and waste that time. So there you go. That's coding dojo. And uh, go check them out. Uh, you can find a link here and in the description below. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.